Oh. <laughs> I mean, just in the beginning of the book, he um, he plucks up the courage to kiss his his um, the love of his life, loses her to the guy he rescues from drowning, and um, and gets his nose broken. Uh, it's all autobiographical. <laughs> <laughs> no, that didn't happen to me. But no, you know, I feel like drew on experiences of heartbreak. Yeah. All right. Um, one of the conversations, speaking of drawing on experience, one of the conversations that we were having earlier was um, drawing on experience and um, the way that culture and identity for each of us respectively kind of feature in our body of, of bodies of work. How does that work for Heritage and Secrets? Well, for me, I mean, a lot of the poetry I write is very autobiographical, but this is a, is a fictional story. But it's very much around sort of, um, I mean, I am Irish, so I said it in Ireland, but um, I'm very interested in the idea of um, how I think Irish society, <coughs> particularly in the past, uh, in families there was a lot of secrecy, lots of things that weren't talked about, that couldn't be said. It was quite, um, I suppose, Catholic and in a quite repressive kind of way. So I'm sort of exploring those issues and sort of how that has had uh, an impact on people's lives. And uh, I just I just quite like tragic love stories. It just appeals to me, and a bit of a thriller element in there as well. Nice. Um, but what about yourself? How's your uh, background? Uh, there, there are no tragic love stories. <laughs> <laughs> Yet. Someone wants me. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Someone once described, there's a poem that we've got in here um, that uh, prompted someone to describe me as a writer of, what is it, um, dysfunctional love poems. Um, there's a poem in here that's been described as a, as a dysfunctional love poem, but in terms of culture and identity, um, my family's from Guyana. My mother moved to the UK in 1963, and um, I've always been interested, as long as I've been writing, I think, I've been interested in, in the notion of culture and the notion of home as well. Um, there isn't a great deal of specifically Guyanese stuff in communion. Um, it, it's something that I am playing around with more in, in my next bodies of work. Um, but even in communion, you know, things like my mother's guitar and, and dealing with different generations of, of people in my family, um, I've, I've always been interested in this, uh, this notion of um, what's passed down in terms of traditions, um, how tra traditions are maintained, how cultural history and family history is maintained and passed on, but also I'm really interested in, in new traditions that are established. So I was saying to Aoife, I grew up as a drum and bass kid. I was really into drum and bass. Uh, every, every almost every team rebels <coughs> against their parents and, and, and the culture that their parents lay down. And for me, my forms of rebellion were hip hop music and, and drum and bass music, and particularly drum and bass because hip hop at the time was was very much an African American form, whereas drum and bass was was, was quintessentially British and youth. Yeah, um, and there's a there's a whole drum and bass poem in here. Um, it was kind of dedicated to that that phase of my life going through the, the whole drum and bass thing, and um, I was really interested in the idea of so my mum used to drag me to these parties, yeah, um, be her and all the other old folk. They'd be the curry chicken and, and, and peas and rice and everything. There'd be some old school calypso line on the background, um, some Lord Kitchener and all this kind of thing, right? And that was, that, was, that was their part of home in London. That was home for them, where they could gather and they could bring home back to the fore. They could kind of, you know, reincarnate home in this, in this London space. And I'm like, okay, so when I like, 50, 60 years old, what are our gatherings going to be like? When I like break out a drum bass CD and come on! <laughs> <laughs> Is that what I'm going to be doing? You know?